There's the uh, old joke about the man that asks the woman if she would be willing to sleep with him for a million dollars. She says, yes, of course. And then he asks her if she'd be willing to sleep with him for a dollar. She's greatly offended and asks, you know, what, what kind of woman do you think I am? He says, well, we've already established that. Now we're just haggling over the price. We all have our moral center of decency and values up to a point. Often that point is when it's for our own personal benefit and gain. It's understandable. In the moral arc of the universe, there's really no difference between a million dollars and one dollar. It's all perception. We think we're in a cultural war, but really it's just a political battle. And apparently there's uh, no virtue in any of it. It's all just an illusion. Welcome. Welcome to Conservative Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith at Conservative Coffee Hour. We've, uh, we've explored almost every topic. We've been looking at messaging for almost three years now. We've shared lots of moral outrage, shock, and dismay over declining morals and values in this country, including poverty, slavery, education, transgender, crime, and last week, everyone's favorite topic, abortion. All the while in the in the background, Larry keeps telling us that it, all that matters is winning elections. It's very annoying because we keep, we do, we keep drifting back to the idea that there must be some moral center in this country. But in our discussion about abortion last week, it, it illustrated the idea that from the standpoint of winning elections, there really can't be a moral center. Michelle Claremont uh, shared that historically, people in the U.S. have been evenly split 50-50 on the topic of abortion, and that really hasn't changed in the last 50 years. So taking a stand either way really isn't going to get you anywhere. We decided almost three years ago to walk away from the topic of abortion for this reason, and that was hard to do because it seems to be a, you know, a morally wrong uh, institution. But what came into better focus last week was the idea that, um, you know, we're not in a morality play here. We're in a political battle. And that has nothing to do with morals. Traditionally, the Republican Party has been the party of the establishment and big business. And the Democrats, well, they were the party of the people. Republicans actually dominated politics in the 80s and 90s. And the Woodstock liberals of the 60s have traditionally dominated the Democrat Party. Republicans had the Democrats on the run in the mid-90s with a series of stunning defeats until the Democrats made the strategic move to get in bed with big business. And now we have the unholy marriage of big business and progressive politics. At the same, same time, a cultural war erupted between the moral majority and everyone else. The winning strategy of the Democrats has been to focus on emerging markets of constituents through identity politics to tip the scales of the traditional 50-50 split in this country. Essentially, it's an algebraic equation. The only wrinkle in this math problem is the very premise of the representational republic itself and the electoral college, which safeguards the minority voice. It's, it's ironic. We can all appreciate the idealism of the 1960s and the doing well to do good intention of it all, but we need to look at the unexpected consequences of it all. We've already decided and determined what kind of people we are, and now we just are we're just haggling over the price. And the price is the unexpected consequences of crime, inflation, and lack of upward mobility. Brian Castle from the Chicago GOP was on the call last week, and he shared that the GOP is still working on messaging for abortion and other topics. But the, the real area to focus on now is developing a ground game for winning elections to counter the Democrat machine. So the important takeaway from last week is that we, uh, we might very well be fighting a cultural battle in this country, but more important, we're in a political war. We're on a sinking ship, so it's time to set aside the divisive topics and instead focus on illegal immigration, inflation, energy independence, and jobs 
and upward mobility for people. We're here to fulfill our earthly mission without undue restraints of, uh, of our expression and development and relationships. We, we can't do everything we need to do here if our entire system collapses around us. We all do have a moral compass and we do have our sense of individual and shared va values. Do we believe in a moral center? Perhaps, but in politics, there is no moral center. There's just winning elections and everything else is just a conversation about what the price is. If you would like to join us at Conservative Coffee Hour, Conservative Coffee Hour is every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time on Zoom. I will include my email in the description of this video. I'll be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.